Hi guys, welcome back to part three of this series, and this is another way to color up a triad. And uh, the good thing about this part is, if you already know the triads, it's going to be very easy for you to do what we are going to discuss right now. It's just something which uh, we call, I guess, in the music. Fraternity as fat chords, spelt as P H A T for some strange reason. Anyway, but the chords are definitely going to sound a lot thicker. The same triads you play by adding some notes are going to make it sound very very thick and very very exciting and colorful. So let's see how I'm building these fat sounds. So this is your D major. which you can either play in this inversion or this inversion and this inversion so when you play a chord which has 1 3 and 5 you're not playing the 2 not playing the 4 not playing the 6 and not playing the 7th in that scale so for every note for every 3 notes you play you're not playing 4 notes um this series is about trying to play those or squeeze in those extra notes you don't want to play all that's going to sound really funny see i quite like that but anyway you may not want to play all you won't have enough fingers in the first place so what we try to do is take the same triad d and add a couple of notes so for example i want to add the e that's quite a nice uh, d major sound another thing you may want to do is add the b may want to add both right and in some cases your fingers may be very close to those notes you can you can just slide your thumb which i am doing here and you get a second interval this just makes it a bit thicker Four, add the four, which is G. Or you can remove the three and play the two and the four. I don't think you'd want to have all five. It won't sound so good, right? So maybe this shape or that shape uh, or maybe this shape, right? I think I'm going with this for now. So D major with the two. and then if you do b minor the same idea you can come down to b minor add the 2 you can also say add 9 and add it like that but i think the fatness comes when you clutter up your intervals when you don't spread them out too much when you gang the notes together so try to squeeze that interval inside inside the triad so this is the normal triad squeeze it in or at the 4 so i think 2 and 4 are very useful for give, causing that fatness and it won't really change the quality of the chord a minor will still feel minor and a major will still feel major and then your e minor you could play maybe like this this is e minor is adding you can even add the minor 7th it's also a nice note here and there or you can add this one the fourth which i am playing like this with the thumb technique this is e minor or you can play it like that with the minor 7th d and then the a you can play a sus 4 or uh, add the 2 or play like that Which is the three, the four, and the five? So, in in simple words, you you just play your same chords, this sounds quite simple, right? It's like a sound you would have heard, or maybe you studied this when you when you were a beginner. Now you can add the. the fat sound by adding the 2 the 4 or maybe even the flat 7 whenever it works d major b minor e minor a you 
you can also spread that by playing it with the pedal right you can also arpeggiate it you also have some quite a few notes to 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 jam on this was all the notes of the chord so either play them scatter them out stuff like that where you can just run down so forth so uh, by playing it at different octaves it just makes it very ballad like and it fills up those spaces where the singer is probably taking a breath or uh, the singer's finished the line and you are doing some color there either by playing it higher as a block shape where you play it together or you can play it as an arpeggio as i've showed you and uh, this requires some knowledge of the sustain pedal i think the sustain pedal has more harmonic content already to the sound that's what happens on a real piano acoustically so it's important to also know the sustain pedal uh, if you want some tips on that we've done a lesson on the sustain pedal which you'll find in the description so so do check that out so this is about fat chords where you add the 2 the 4 or the flat 7 to just make the chord a lot more fatter right so if you found that lesson useful we urge you to subscribe to our youtube channel and also share it around with your friends and if you want to study further there is some study material available in the descriptions Uh, so click on the link and head over to uh, to the, for the study material where you'll get some notation you'll get the chords written out in a chord chart and a few more things like the summary for the lesson cheers right so that's about power chords and how you can use the fifth chords in your songs and don't forget to check out our learning material at the link provided you can go through all the slides which i have been talking about all the chords we also notated it using staff notation and stuff like that okay cheers